flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an attorney's mood. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And we're going to talk about the heavens, or the esoteric realm, or the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional aspect of the continents. Now, in the third dimension, you can see the continents play out in the physical forms. You see what I'm saying? But the higher you go into vibration, frequency, or realm, you're going to reach a firmament. Which a firmament is just the starting of a whole nother realm of reality or an existence. But what you need to understand is, the higher you go, the lighter the spectrum things are going to be. So once you reach this area, or this form of thought, then you need to understand when we talk about the concept of continents, this is where we start to talk about the what, when, where, why, and who. That would be the five continents in the heavens, or the esoteric realm, or the four, fifth, and sixth dimensional realm, as you want to explain it. Or the subconscious realm, you see what I'm saying? Or the yin realm. It's the what, when, where, why, and who. And this is where your spirit can travel locational-wise to understand the same way how people travel locational-wise down here in these continents to understand different civilizations. Now, here's what we do need to understand when we come to this, right? Now, there's many different ways of how to come to conclusions down here. And, in the four, and there's a lot of different examples that you may manifest in your life to point you to why you're no thing, why you're nothing, which is your spirit. You see what I'm saying? Now in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, once you once we all become suns and moons and become solar systems and things of that nature, then the way that you discover it up there, the philosophical point of view will be the how. That will be the anchor in it. So when we get the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, that brings us to a six. So you have the what, when, where, why, and who, and then we got the how, which is the six. So that anchors us spiritually as a phi. That phi is perfect. You got two on each side, which anchor and one that anchor and one in the middle, which create phi. So you have a negative positive on a negative, and you have a negative positive on um, the positive, and then you anchor that with the body that got created as the orb in between. And then this is what you uh, call the physical shape and form of always being in a realm of reality into a shape or form. Then spiritually, you anchor that in based upon your idea of you, the concept of you, your state of being, and that's going to be the actual how. So once we tap into the how in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional vehicles that we take, this is going to help us understand that we're no thing up there. But you know, throughout this video, I'm going to be helping people understand, hold on. throughout this video, I'm going to be helping people understand how it's important not to attach a lot of these words to a lot of meanings and reasonings that we are getting lost into in the third dimension, which is the what, when, where, why, and who. Um... But I want to break this down actually a little deeper. Now, once we get into when, when, air, air, where did that concept get derived from? Now, everything is derived from. Now, y'all know this is the subconscious channel. So, that I, this is what my video is about. So, I teach people how to be stars actually. Not like a celebrated blood cell, like a celebrity, but an actually, a actual star. Because we're all stars. So, the better you understand your influence and the chakra waves and the, and the wills that you are creating as a current event in your life, the better you understand what you are. So, for the most part, this is what my channel about so the ability as you being no thing as a spirit you create influences the, your fluid your chakra wheels uh, you know what I'm saying your current event to be aware of yourself and for the external realm to be aware of you within your space and for you to attract in your space what you want and for you to deflect out of your space what you don't want so for the most part now when, when you create your alignment right you are in a space with a other group of spirits that did the same thing so based upon us being relative and you might be traveling your current your body of water in this direction and you're next to someone in another space their spirit traveling their current event in this direction now that what comes in between that is the development of what y'all call air today or when today but air and then in astrology it even gets derived as logic Thinking, communicating, or or rationalizing, in, or, or yeah, rationalizing in some way, shape, or form. So all that got derived from when you have people, spirits sharing a space, creating chakras there, and then one influence is going in one direction, and another influence is going in another direction. So in between, that creates an orb. Now that orb can become a chakra in its own self, in its own right, for other spirits to experience that realm of reality due to time. But for the most part, in this lightest birth stage of it is just like a cloud or air or wind and it plays out as a form of transportation travel or intellect or being able to rationalize the circumstance of what just happened aka you going in your direction and 
uh, uh, different than someone else going in their direction. So that air that blows in between plays out as a direction or a form of information that can rationalize what just actually happened. So you could kind of know what's going on based upon how the wind blow. Do you get you kind of get what I'm saying spiritually? So for the most part, this is the wind. The whoo, whoo. So through all that intellect and information, this is where we created the continents in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional realm as far as the what, when, where, why, and who. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. Now, and then we get into the philosophical point of view in those shapes and forms as the how. And then once we start to discover how, we start to discover ourselves more. And start to discover how the what, when, where, why, and who gets derived. And, and how we are walking on those firmaments in the first place as far as the esoteric realm. Now. See, now, these are just locations in the 4th, 5th, and 6th dimension. And these are where you're traveling spiritually. So, anytime you try to bring these down as a form of logic or shape or form or word or meaning down in the 3rd dimension, you may get lost. And you may not ever find the how. And I'm speaking on the what, when, where, why, and who. These are locations that you're traveling. So, it's important to understand what these things are actually doing and not try to see them for what they are in the third dimension. Because you'll, you'll get lost and you will never find the how. Now, here's what I actually mean by that. See, because look, when you attach these places that you're traveling spiritually to a actual statement down here, you end up making things that don't make sense. For an example, right? You might ask questions like, what is... God or where is God or when was God or who is God or why is God you see what I'm saying and therefore when you do that in the third dimension titles locations that you're traveling in the spirit realm in the third dimension you ain't, you ain't gonna never find a how and then when you do place when you do find another spirit that's walking in the third dimension that you really supposed to be looking at right that's in a body what happens is you will believe what they think the what, when, where, why, or who is. And then therefore, they since they can't tell you the how, you will just say you don't know the how. You just know the what, when, where, why, or the who. But whatever that what, what that whatever that what, when, why, where, or who is, you see what I'm saying? You just you just give it like it's its own how. And you will be able to understand a lot better once you leave these vessels and get into a 4th, 5th, or 6th dimensional vessel to realize that you was the how. But for the most part down here, right, you might have to live down here for eons before you even get to this mentality. So, you know, this video right here, this is for my subconscious community. You know, this video might not ever be for everybody, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, this is going to be for those gems. This is going to be for those gems out there. So, this is why I say it's important to not tie these because these are vehicles. These are traveling vehicles. You know what I'm saying? These are like equipment for your spaceship. You know, these are extra tires or something for your spaceship. If, if you mean what I, if you know what I mean, as far as spiritually in the fourth, fifth, or sixth dimensional realm. So, like the what, when, where, why, and who. This is dealing with like the when, basically, and us being able to go into a direction and have that form of information. So, you know, you got your influence, right? You ever sat back? You ever sat back and looked at someone else's actions and 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 compared it with your actions and then assessed to, assessed in your mind whether that was going to be a relationship worth getting involved into or not, whether on a friendship scale, sibling scale, whatever, right? That was wind. That was air. That was you assessing the wind that was blowing between y'all. And since and based upon say your current. Your water, your influence is going in a total different direction than someone else's. That wind in between is the vehicle for you to gain the information like, nah, we complete opposites. Say your chakras is joining in a certain way, but it's going in this kind of alignment, like a triangle. That's like, that's like you a part of the wind that y'all create in between will almost be like, dang, this is somebody I can join with. We're on the same path. We're going in the same direction. Because both of y'all influences, y'all current events, y'all light spectrums is pointed in the same area. You see what I'm saying? So as y'all moving, y'all y'all moving in the same wind also. You know what I'm saying? The square, the square. That's almost like going around each other trying to do the same thing. So it's creating like a, a 90 degree angle. So when you got your influences, say you're trying... Say you ever been in a situation where, or say both of y'all fighting for the same position. So y'all trying to impress a, a boss or somebody or trying to possess a, or, uh, 
whatever y'all, if y'all both trying to fight for a relationship, men or women, right? Fight for a position, right? So y'all both trying to do the same thing, but y'all both is doing it in your own way. Y'all creating a 90 degree angle. So y'all both in the same space, but trying to reach that center spot or reach that direction in the same kind of way. So for the, uh, I mean, in a, in a different way, but y'all trying to reach the same goal. So it creates a 90 degree angle. So this will be in a, a circumstance that might create competitive nature, friction a little bit amongst somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because your influence and their influence is in the same space, but it's being directed in two different ways. So that wind, that orb in between is that transportation, is that information. Now, other spirits that come into that space that may resonate with that kind of energy that may like those certain current events may take going to that body of information and then play out those characteristics also in that space. And the longer the longer it goes and the more spirits that goes into that space, the more that seems like a concept or an idea that actually can play out in a realm of reality. You see what I'm saying? So it plays out as a concept. And this is where like they want to say like the shit like logical absolutes or or philosophy. This is how this is how all that get derived. How we're actually interacting in the spirit realm. You see what I'm saying? And the orbs that we're creating in between creates platforms. And the, and the more we interact with these platforms, these bodies of knowledge, and keep going in it, and other spirits go in it, and they, we are directing in our own way in it, and creating our own chakras in it, it becomes a continent. It becomes a platform. It becomes a, a rooted concept. It becomes, it becomes a totality way of how we're all relating as a group of spirits within one space in the astral realm. So for the most part, in this space, um, the, we created the continents of the what, when, where, why, and who. So everything is going to be derived under the what, when, where, why, and who within this spectrum, because as spirits, this is what we created now this is not in all realms of realities you know what i'm saying this is not in all realms of realities everything is not a what you know what i'm saying everything is not a wind you know what i'm saying everything is not a where i, I didn't told y'all there's no up down left right in the fourth fifth and sixth dimension i told y'all you was no thing you was no shape form you was no sh you, you're shapeless and formless smokeless un unsparkable flame whatever the fuck they want to call it uh you're no thing no shape and form so you're not a what you know what I'm saying? Um, you always existed, you know what I'm saying, as far as in in space realm, spiritually, right? So you're you're not a win, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's no purpose or no circumstance to it. Uh, you, you just got your space and positioning, so there's no why, you know what I'm saying? There's no actual location up, down, left, right, so there's no where, you know what I'm saying? And it's a person's type of thing, a state of being. So there's no who. You know what I'm saying? It's just a state of being. So when, when it comes to the how, we start to understand we're the how. So we create the what, when, where, why, and who. But y'all are so lost in the third dimension and start to get all fucked up and fuzzy and shit like that down here to the point that y'all never found that. Y'all never find the how because y'all lost under so many governments and y'all governed by so many other um, spectrums and shit like that and clouds and ideas and concepts to the point that when you guys take that esoteric uh spiritual travel and try to see it through y'all lostness of lights y'all always trying to point to the what when where why and who down here and attach that to the four fifth and sixth dimensional realm without remixing it you need to understand it's the four fifth and sixth dimensional realm first and don't attach that to down here but y'all keep trying to attach that to down here to the point that you never find a how so you will never find how this happened or how this happened. And you'll be lost in an infinite regress um, type of circumstance or situation, right? All the way until by default, you end up living down here as a, in so many eons. You end up just by default getting seven gems and being able to get up there. And then you end up being lost up there amongst a whole bunch of people who's smarter than you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it'd be the same shit down here, just up there. You're a lost motherfucker in religion or something up there. You know what I'm saying? And 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 trying to and trying to find a how, but it'll be a it'll be a higher vibration. You know what I'm saying? The higher vibration of it is we're actually traveling to the continents of the what, when, where, why, who, and uh, you see what I'm saying? And then we're actually going to try to anchor that with the the sixth spectrum of it, which is the how. And then once we understand the how up there, this is how we start to understand we're no thing up there. Like same way down here, how I'm t how I'm trying to teach y'all the spirit is no thing. Down here, up there, I'm going to be doing the same thing, but teaching y'all that we the how. You know what I'm saying? We the how this happened. We're, we're, not, we're not the one with, we're not the what, when, where, why, and who. Same way down here, we're we not the African, Asian, Caucasian, you know what I'm saying? Mexican, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Spanish, uh, Latino. Same, same way we not the, we not the that down here. The same way up there, I'm going to be telling y'all we not the what, when, where, why, and who. 
You get it? Like, you know what I'm saying? And and same way I'm telling y'all, you're no thing down here as far as the spirit. The same way up there, I'm be telling y'all, uh, you is the how this happened. So, you see how, if you was to say down here, who is the how? That don't make sense in the third dimension, right? But to me, when y'all say, what is God? That don't make sense to me. <laughs> like, you, like, you get it? Like, I, I don't really know how to even ex under explain it to y'all like that, but... In the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, if it it's just state of being, there is no language. You go with what you resonate with, and language is just a form of what you resonate with down here. So, you know what I'm saying? As far as the verbal communication, right? That's how you know what someone is into down here. So, you know someone is into basketball because they talk about basketball. You know someone is into that because they talk about that. You know someone is into Barbies and stuff like that because they. In, you see what I'm saying? So, for the most part, you're in a circumstance, a situation where you're verbally communicating your state of being. So, you have learned how to do this. You learned how to wake up. You learned how to stay awake. You learned how to be in a body that expires just to stay in a dream longer because you you spiritually be scared and shit to be by yourself but for the most part that's another thing you know what i'm saying but when we when we get into the fourth fifth and sixth dimensional aspect these are just locations same way you go to china asia down here in the fourth fifth and sixth dimension you go to what when where why and who you know what i'm saying there's an area where there's a lot of who going on there's an area where there's a lot of what going on there's a there's a area where there's a lot of when going on there's an area where there's a lot of where going on and these are the things that get derived down here and y'all catch them all in a flux as a, all big mixed and mingle as a tetrium star together but since that is so big you live within that realm so down here you catching all those at one one time so when you get when you get confused that's why i look at words like uh like how you know what i'm saying what is the how that make more sense to me than what it makes that it makes down here to y'all. You see what I'm saying? Like, what is the how? I can say me. You know what I'm saying? When was the how? When I chose to do it. You know what I'm saying? Where was the how? In the space I'm in right now. My, my state of being. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it was at. See, but y'all get confused. Where in the direction that y'all got down here, up, down, left, right, that got derived from direction state of being where is where you at was you in a negative space was you in a righteous space that'd be right what y'all think down here was you in a, a opposing space or trying to be unique that would be left what y'all think down here was you in an optimistic or a happy space that would be up what y'all think down here was you in a, a downing or a depressing space that would be what y'all think down down here was you in a regretful uh space that would be uh back um down which i think back down here is you in a moving uh moving forward or or overcoming something that is, that is a going ahead um i mean are you looking ahead that is the moving forward in uh or looking for direction that y'all down, down here but it's derived subconsciously you can go to my video about the, how to move in a subconscious realm you know what i'm saying but that's how you move up there so when you want when, when i say uh where was the where was the how you know what I'm saying? That lets you know whatever realm of reality you in. Now think about it. Y'all live in a realm of reality. Think about all the spirits that y'all that led y'all here. So go to all y'all religions and shit. And think about the state of beings that got y'all in. Make y'all be fruitful. Make y'all go through trial and tribulation and shit like that. So in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, I would talk to y'all over soul, face to face. I would talk to y'all spirit, the demon that y'all be following. I'd be like, motherfucker, uh, uh, where was the how? And what that spirit would tell me is, man, it was in a lower nature. It was in it was in one of my lower natures. I ain't gonna lie. So this is why y'all up under the the animal will, the zodiac will, the animal will, because y'all are in the lower natures of this spiritual being. So for the most part, the better y'all understand the lower natures of this being, y'all understand how y'all lower natures. Y'all understand how to rise above these lower natures because you know as a spirit, there's something different there. You know, and you know not to get lost into these lower these lower animalistic natures, which is the zodiac will. So that's what this spirit to tell me. That that's how I talk. That's what makes sense to me. I'd be like, nigga, nigga, where, where was the how? He, that spirit, he or she, or the spirit don't have no gender. You know what I'm saying? It just whatever that spirit resonate with as far as a feminine or a masculine energy, that's the shape and form it to take within the realm of reality or the illusion that it chooses to create a tether according to. But for the most part, the spirit has no gender itself. So I'd be like, motherfucker, what, 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 where was the how? And it won't have no choice but to tell me if it was in a masculine state, a feminine state, if it was in a negative state, a positive child or triple it won't have no choice because I see it for what it is. See, you see how this makes sense for me now? So you see how, how fast I'm able to be a ghostbuster and detect a spirit by saying something logically in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension that don't even make sense to y'all in the third dimension?
know what I'm saying? But y'all see how y'all would say something that y'all think makes sense, but it, it's still, at the end of the day, it, it still won't make sense because it will lead to an infinite regress and you will never find a how. But y'all think it's logical to ask questions like, what is God and where is God and how is... But if I was to say something like, uh, who is how and where is how, that don't make sense. But you see how I can get faster to truth than the person who think was logic in the third dimension. Like, y'all see that? Like, you see, I'm trying to do it live for y'all. You know what I'm saying? How, how we get twisted up with language and shit. Like, how it's so easy. It's so easy. Like, I would ask questions like, who is how? And then you won't have no choice but to look at yourself. You won't have no choice but to take your own responsibilities in your life. You won't have no choice but to not blame nobody else for your circumstances and situation. And slowly but surely, you'll start to move into a better space within your own life. And then you start to understand spirituality. That it's just your space. It's like, literally, we like motherfucking fish. Like... And you just like a spirit going through water, swimming around, and you going through different realms of realities. You might you might go through a high frequency one within that dimension, those dimensions. You might go through this one, but you just swimming and dying and transforming. And based upon your spiritual expansion and contraction, that's the bubble that you're gonna create. Whether you create a big bubble or a little, a little bubble, bubble based upon your your wind, your conscious, your idea that you create to actually go into to experience that shit within your own bubble. Some people got large bubbles, some people got small bubbles. Small bubbles get influenced quickly. You could tell a person who got a small bubble, uh, aka small soul, soul force, aka as a spirit, they created small chakras, small waters, small influences, waters, bubbles, and the small air in it. You know what I'm saying? Because for the most part, when you see a, a group of bubbles, you see a, a, these are people who can't, don't know how to live without a group of pack of people. See what I'm saying? So a lot of times, animals just came from that state so it's natural for animals to, to go into packs and birds to fly together once you start to get into once you start to become a bigger bubble you start to want your own space see what i'm saying so you are a human right now you're in a bigger bubble as a spirit you create a bigger bubble that can sustain and have more experiences and be more aware of this realm of reality so now you're starting to realize you want more of your space so you know we creating bigger bubbles now the bigger bubble you are you're going to be the influence. So all the other bubbles and lesser bubbles are going to have to surround you in some way. This is why you get celebrated blood cells, having managers, having uh, assistants, having, having, having whole entourages with each position and surrounding the bigger bubble. So when you look at Saturn or you look at this, this current, this body of water closer to us, these are bigger bubbles, bigger oceans. So the oceans, the smaller ones around it have no choice but to surround it in some way, shape, or form because of this positioning of it. It's so heavy as an influence that is just going to cause traction and other other ones to rotate around it because it's all the influences so it's shining the most it's doing the most rotate rotation it's creating the most temperament it's creating the most temperature it's doing the most transformation it's transforming the most people lives in its own lives around it so you know it's it's, it's deep when we start to t look at these fucking planets and i'm trying to tell y'all it's like it's water you know what i'm saying same way as water. Like, this water consists of H2O. Now, this is the star we on. But it's just giving us the understanding of vibrations. So, for the most part, that's what I was trying to tell the, the homeboys. It's just giving us the understanding of vibrations. So, just because our water is made out of H2O or oxygen, doesn't mean that that body of water might be mixed up with a different compound. You know what I'm saying? Helium and hydrogen. But it's still a body of water. And this is where we get the concept of mixture of chemistry, uh, elements being act, uh, mixture together, things being diluted, uh, things being affected. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This is why a person from Asia who's been drinking water there their whole lives, if they was to drink water in America, they'd get sick and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? person in uh, Antarctica drinking water there their whole life uh, was to drink it in Nigeria, they may get sick. You know what I'm saying? So they get used to the different chemical influences within the, the separation of this big body of water that we're on right now so do your research on the, the world ocean you're on a you're on a star you know what i'm saying different parts of the seas is correlating to different vibrations but that's just one specific location within this overall location of this body of water we're on and each body of water might be chemically mixed with their own elemental compounds which y'all see the sun jupiter the moon all these things and shit like that but you need to know that they're just different forms of water so don't get lost into man version of what you want to call water and think water is just H2O and oxygen. No, water is just what we call as form of concepts of being able to physically see a vibration in the energy realm. So anytime you can physically see a vibration, it's going to look, it's going to portray as a form of fluid. 
Now, the most pure fluid that we see in this realm of reality is water. The reason why we call it pure is because it's cleansed of something. Now, there's no such thing as pure. So, only time something gets dirty and unpure is when something else gets mixed in with it. Now, something else might have been pure from what it's pure of, but it's a mixture of what it's mixed of. So, since you're since you derived out of these waters, you're purely from these waters. But that doesn't mean the water itself is actually a form of what's, what y'all want to quote unquote get lost in the men and women words is what y'all call pure. Do you get what I'm saying? It's just what you derived from. So it's pure to you. So anytime you got some outside influence, outside fluid, outside water with their own parasites in it and things of that nature, it can affect this water, this fluid. So when you get influences and parasites and archons from other stars, other bodies of water, you get affected by those influences and get directed by these influences and create winds and different currents here. So, you know what I'm saying? The lighter the influence, that's why, you know, it, it ooh. Let me stop this motherfucking video because I don't think y'all feel me. I don't think y'all feel me. I think I'm going to have to go live on that one. Flight Buster, it's goddamn air.